Welcome back to Boys and Ghouls Film Review, folks. I'm your host, Sarah Stevenson. This is my co-host, Mike Stevenson. Hi, guys. And tonight we'll be reviewing a fantasy film that was done in 2000, well, released in 2019, called The Advent, I mean, Adventures of Aladdin. And don't confuse it with the Disney's version, Aladdin. Yeah, not, not the Will Smith one, no. No. And actually, it came out about the same time, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Which, um, but, which might have actually which kind of, squashed this one a bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So this one kind yeah. of squ- got squashed and forgotten. Yes. So we do it primarily because we think it's a good movie which has been uh, flying under the radar. Yeah. and Despite what the, some of the critics have said yeah. about it. And I'll, I'll explain that a bit later on. Yeah, another example yeah. is mm. um, d- that at the moment we had two um, Pinocchio movies that came out. One was done by Disney, of course, and the other one was done by the guy who directed um, sh- um, Shapes in the Water. Or that oh, that guy. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember his name. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he did the, his own version of and Pinocchio. Yeah, and and I think a lot of reviewers think it's, his is more favourable than the Disney one trying yeah. to yeah. overdo it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anyway, okay. go on, Mike. Here we go. Now... I've got lots of my normal stuff here, but I'm going to add to it as we go along a bit. Now, this was actually produced by Asylum Films. Okay? The yeah. Asylum. Yeah. Uh, now, I've got a list of people involved in the production side. I don't normally read them all off, mm-hmm. but in this case, I will. Okay, David Michael Latt is the producer. Paul Bales is a co-producer. Hmm. David uh, Ramawi, uh, R-I-M-A-W-I, is executive producer, David Cortris, Cortris mm-hmm. consulting producer, Tammy Klein is mm-hmm. associate producer, mm-hmm. and James Thomas was a line producer, whatever line producer is. Now, mm-hmm. uh, directed by Glenn Campbell, mm-hmm. a screenplay by Glenn Campbell and Tammy Klein. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know budget and I don't know box office. I get the impression box office would have been minimal and or it might have streamed. Yeah. I do not know. I do yet. not know. <coughs> yeah, but however, however. I normally talk about uh, re- critical reception at the end of the critique and whatever, but I want to skim over something now. This film was made by Asylum. You they say. do low-budget films. Now, I say low-budget. I didn't say low-quality, but obviously the quality is uh, controlled by the budget constraints, Okay. Now, some of the critics are con- trying to compare this to a, a major player-type film with a mega budget. You cannot do that. It's like doing an, an, an indie movie against Steven Spielberg, Spiel, Spielberg or George Lucas. Ain't going to happen. Mm. So, yeah, the critics have been unfair in this regard. Okay. Mm. Um, now, um, I think the money was well spent in this movie. Mm. Okay. Before, uh Whatever money they put into it. Yeah, okay, the costumes might have been lacking a bit. Uh, they might have been a little bit light on special effects. Uh, it's called a budget. And they don't have a big budget. They run with what they got. And I think with what they've done, they've done a pretty good um, production. Mm, right. Now, um, Adam Hollick plays Aladdin. He's hot. A good-looking man. Uh, I think the girls like yeah. him. Yeah, and they changed his story uh, behind it where he's an acrobat instead of a poor person. <coughs> but still or, a street person. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. still a street poor person nevertheless. But, he, he, but he's down the bottom there, yeah. Hmm. Now, Daniel O'Reilly plays the Vizier Maghreb, I think his name is. Now, I cannot say this girl's name properly, and I'm sorry. Her name is Lucia... Zataris, I think, is the right pronunciation of it. I think it looks like a Greek name. X Y P T E R A S. She plays Shazadi, which is you know like a Jasmine sort of role in these sort yeah, of things. She's a pretty princess. Yeah. I mean, she's pretty... a very beautiful woman and not a bad actress. Hmm. Now I won't go for everybody else. It had some co-stars or whatever, but I will jump down to the genie. Hmm. A genie. Now some people knocked him. I thought he was cool. He wasn't want you a sucky up subservient sort of genie totally. He was playing it, hey, I'm a cool dude. Yeah, cool dude, nice guy. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, now his his name is Lord Craven, K R A V E N, and I think he plays a pretty smooth genie. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I'm not taking you away from Will Smith. Or Will Robert Smith did Williams. his version of it. I'm not mm-hmm. taking you away from Robin Williams and the animated version. Everybody adds their own to the role. This yeah. guy did his personality in it. I think it works. I remember mm. the um, stage plays we watched on YouTube, Mike, of all yeah, the... Yeah, yeah, they yeah. were yeah. Sl- smash, yeah, yeah, some yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah, it was, I think it was... Done, was that done Disney World or somewhere? Yeah, or, Disney yeah, yeah, World yeah. or... Just, or somewhere. Just in theatres. It was fun. Theaters, it was fun. Disney it was fun. Yeah, the, the guys playing the genies, I think they copy Robin Williams style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hilarious. Um, now, I have not got too much more to say at the moment. So I'll leave you to Sarah to do her telling of the tale. Mm. Yeah, so the story begins. Um, the, the latest Sultan, who is passing away, sadly. Is that Sultan Pepper Shaker? Funny how. Ah, that's another joke that Mike got. Joke, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, so the Sultan is slowly dying, and he tells his daughter in his last moments, guess what, you're going to be my, in charge of the kingdom. And I know what you're thinking. Usually it takes time for the king to warm up to the idea of this sort of thing. But uh, in this case, I think he's warmed up to the idea already. And so we don't have to wait until the very end to say, yes, she's now the sultan. He he wants to make her his surviving heir to reign over his people. It gets up the nose of the vizier. Yeah, the vizier Uh, thinks it's his turn to rule after him. I don't know how that works. Well, there's no female. He should take take on the role. Yeah. It's unheard of having a female. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. What a sexist attitude, yeah. It is a sexist attitude. Anyway, he is not thrilled, and the king... But the king passes, sadly, and... Then the vizier goes down to his dungeon his, or his office to, and tries to summon the lamp, but using magic. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. <laughs> Unfortunately, somehow magic can only take you so far. Yeah. And it only gives him the impression of where it is, but in order to find it. But he can't get it because he's not of pure heart. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, the point of this is you can go into the the cave on your own to get it, but the, there's yeah. traps. But it might not let you out again. Hmm. Ah. Anyway, hmm. there. So, um, him. So the vizier and the new sultana. That's her name. The title, sultana. 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 The female version. Think of grapes. The thing. Yeah. The female yeah. version of queen, if you will. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, they go to the town. That's um. And they watch some acrobats performing there, and they and she's amazed at the handsome Aladdin doing his own acrobats in the, and stopping a thief from stealing some other person's gold and yeah. stuff like that. And she rewards Aladdin for his kindness and bravery by giving him a, a special um, charm, charm that mm. she says will protect him from um, evil. Anyway, well, he accepts and he is so destruct by the fact that she is the next ruler of Baghdad. Yeah, but he didn't know. He, he thought, using his cunning observation, he thought she was a handmaiden to the Sultana. No. Ah. She was, well. He didn't know she was the Sultana. Well, actually. Or the grape or the raisin. Well, that, or, ne- or, that or, can or, never came no. up in conversation. No, he Ugh. presumed. That like in all the other movies, they never believe it's a sultana. They think it's somebody who works in the palace, maybe close to her. Anyway, yeah, yeah. the vizier notices how athletic dear old Aladdin is, and he thinks he'll be the best person to likely get the lamp from the cave. So he approaches him and says, um, I need you to go to the special place to get this lamp. In order to give it to the sultana to bless... Because it's a sort of... It's, it's, it's a tradition. A tradition. Mm. And put it back in the cave for the next ruler uh, to arrive. Well, it might be another 20 or 30 or 40, 50 years time, yes. Yeah, yeah mm. so Aladdin doesn't object. His friends didn't know what was going on, but they eventually follow them to where they were going to go to. They come, mm. to, the ca- they come to the cave, well, Aladdin and the vizier, and they he starts... They op- the cave opens up, and Aladdin is told, given... A special rope, and let me see, what was the other thing? 
Oh yeah, yeah. A special rope that allows him to and the staff, the vizier staff, yeah, yeah, to but, yeah. Well, like got, his had a way. light on it. Yeah, a bit of yeah, LPG gas, you know, whatever. Yeah. Mm, PG yeah. gas. <laughs> so Aladdin enters. He confronts some many different obstacles, including fire and uh, lava and lava stuff. And stuff. Yeah. He eventually yeah. gets across it, no problem. And he soon comes across some hologram images of the lamp. At first, most of them come off as cheap. F- Fakes. No, they're not fakes. They're just holograms. They're yeah. not substance. So yeah. you try to touch them, they disappear. He had to find the real one, otherwise he'd run out of time. Yeah, soon yeah. enough, he uses the light uh, on the on the um, staff to light his path and his light his way through the fake lamps and soon found the real one. And, of course, the place begins to rumble Yeah, well, as soon as he touched the real one, yeah, the place started to fall down around his ears. Yeah, yeah. Alana quickly tries to dart his way through the, pl- the place with no problem until he gets to the entrance and the vizier tells him, I'm taking this and I'm going to be the new um, Sultan of Baghdad. Ha, 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 ha. Evil laughter. <laughs> and then he kicks Aladdin into the cave and but somehow when during the kick, him kicking Aladdin ends up kicking the the lamp from the vizier's hand into the and, cave and too. I filmed the cave with him. Yeah. Funny that. And eh? the cave's entrance kinds of all em- seals up. Seals up. Mm-hmm. And the vizier is yelling, "No!" Yeah. Yeah, pretty very much. Good, yeah. Very good. And Aladdin eventually wakes and he sees that he's trapped, but he sees up above him uh, a hole, a in, hole in the roof. He was able to use a special rope and get himself out of there. And his friends eventually arrive. They're all thinking, oh, we've lost a lad. And, oh, scru- boo-hoo-hoo. It's like the time when uh, Indiana Jones went over the cliff and everyone's going, oh, poor, poor Indiana Jones. And he, and he appears out behind yeah. from behind them. Yeah. What are we looking at? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I remember one of the guys saying, I'll miss him because he owes me some, some money. <laughs> I love that joke. Yeah. It's hilarious. Mm. Anyway, Aladdin approaches them and tells them about how his brief encounter with inside the cave. And they're curious about what, why this lamp. And they say that he explains the story the vizier tells him. It doesn't and make sense. It yeah. doesn't make sense. And most of them yeah. have lived in Baghdad all their lives. And never and heard the story. And before. never heard of a story like this. Nah. And they say, we, we need money, so why don't we sell the lamp and call it a day? And have dinner. So um, Aladdin cleans it, and he starts... Rub, 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 you guessed it. And then out shoots a genie in all green and then, uh, all, all green, green smoke. All green smoke, and he came out, yeah. Yeah, and he says, I am your your servant. Hello, master. master. How you doing, pal? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. Aladdin is, well, again, is surprised... And the genie explains to him about that he's a genie and he's given him um, so many wishes. Not, not and he didn't th- say how many wishes. No, in this one, like all most other versions, they never mention how many wishes. Yeah, because the vizier seemed to be having a few little things happen there, more than three little goes, didn't he? Yeah, well, I, later on, as I've told people this before, Disney came up with the three wishes. Um, idea. I and dis, and the Arabian Nights never mention anything about a free yes, wish. Yes, so the real book, the Arabian Nights, where Thousand One Tales, whatever it is, uh, did not mention three wishes. Anyway, Aladdin wishes uh-huh. for a hearty feast with his mates, and <laughs> so they sit, dine, and talk, and sang. Oh, and, and the genie sat down there and ate with them and sang songs. Yeah, and he's a very nice guy. Aladdin mentions that he he doesn't need to wish for anything more because he has his friends. He's ha- healthy. He does not need anything. He doesn't need to kill anyone. Got all his teeth. Yeah. yeah, and but he does lack the love of his life, or his the love he wants. Yeah. And of course, um, um, she's out of his league because she's a prince. She's a sultana. So, but Alad, but the genie says. Fair enough. I can turn her into a peasant. That way you'll be both equal. But yeah. the uh, Aladdin says, no, 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 don't do that. Because I don't want her to be turned into a, ser- a, a peasant because against her will. Yeah. It's not really right. It's only no, it's un- it's right. unfair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and very he, sexist too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and he doesn't want to do that. So Aladdin said, make me into a prince and all that stuff. And maybe then I'll be equal to her. And he says, fair enough. Get up. And then he gets him dress, dressed in a nice costume. Yeah, it's not yeah. too bad. He's like, yeah, not bad. Yeah. 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 He, and his, they eventually have a very big 
beautiful castle. Yeah, and, uh, yeah your wow. mansion castle thing, whatever. Yeah, castle, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a beauty. Anyway. Pretty nice. His friends like it. Yeah, and now they need to bring the princess there to, in hopes of wooing her to Ooh. like him. Oh, that reminds me. Um, the genie also changes Aladdin's appearance slightly. Yeah, yeah he, to, he doesn't change his looks, but he changes how people see him. Huh. Yeah, that's what I was saying, yeah. Yes. So he still is him, but it's like an illusion. So look at him, they see a slightly different face. Exactly so. So she won't recognise him as the, uh, the, the um, what do you call it, gymnast or whatever you want to call him, the um, acrobat. acrobat guy in the marketplace. Yeah, mm-hmm. anyway, they suggest, yeah. then Aladdin suggests to the genie, we will invite the Sultana to come in for a visit. And which is a nice more gesture than just zap, nice. zap, that she's right there in the same room with you. <laughs> yeah, instead of him going there and knocking the door and saying, hey, I want to see the girlie. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, so she's invited and it's pretty clear right from the get-go before she even gets invited, she's already taken in by Aladdin. Well, she was in the garden. She looks like she's mooning, like she's in love. It's pretty obvious from a from a third pers- person's perspective that she's already developed. He a didn't have a monkey, though. Doesn't matter. He has no. friends. Oh, he has friends. Hell, yeah, yeah. anyway. So I like a boo. Um, a boo. Anyway, yeah. So the sultana, the vizier, and some of her guards they go to his um, castle. Of course, his friends were zapped into another room because it would look rather silly. Having all his friends hanging around, and she might recognise them. Uh-huh. Ah. It's the genie's idea, and he creates this beautiful entrance where it has some fireworks and a magic carpet. Very yeah. beautiful stuff. Yeah, really good, really impressive. Yeah. Yeah, she's. He should turn professional. Yeah. Uh, so Aladdin, he impresses the princess with his stories and how and all that stuff. He's she's enchanted by him, and but the vizier doesn't He's feel suspicious. doesn't mm. feel suspicious. He also noticed a few of Aladdin's friends um, in one of the windows and knows he, right away. He, he realised who Aladdin. he might be. Mm. Ah, mm. He, he's a guy. He stole my bloody lamp. You, know, you little yeah. turd. Yeah, he right uses there. his magic influence and was able to get the lamp and he exposes Aladdin to That's the That's a bit rude, Sultan isn't it? That she, he is Aladdin the acrobat, not Ali Ababwa's um, whatever. prince of whatever. He's called Ali Ababwa, just like he, the Disney version I should mention. Ali and Baba, yeah, the water, yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah, some lad, yeah. Aladdin and his friends are zapped out of the palace and and the vizier takes over and he tells the sultan that now he's the sultan and he's going to marry her against Whether her will. Whether she likes it or not. Now, that's really sexist. It yeah. is very sexist. And despite her not saying, I don't like you, I'll never love you and all that stuff, he means to convert her in his own way of turning her into a... Like turning her into a bad person. Yeah, he wants to, uh, yeah, into a, a female version of himself. Yes. That's a bit rude. It is rude. Anyway, oh, she is a very nice lady. Aladdin and his friends they try to make it back to the castle to get even with these the, the vizier and save the sultana, but unfortunately, two, three of his friends get killed along the way. Well, we thought they got killed. We don't know if they got killed or they, they just disappeared. They got spirited away by some sort of like little, little mini whirlwind, mini tornado type things. Yeah. Yeah. And, of course, one of the girls in the group, who was his friend, who has a crush on Aladdin, um, she tells him where to stick it, tells him, I'm not going to do this. I don't care if, about chasing after your crush and all that stuff. Yeah. I'm going back to Baghdad, and that's it. there's an end to it. It's like, yes. something like that, yeah. Yeah, and Aladdin does eventually enter the c- castle eventually with one of his reigning friends, and they face off against the vizier and his pet. Uh, uh, what do you call a lizard? He had a lizard. Um, yeah. Like a chameleon. A or chameleon or, or chameleon something. Chameleon. And I know what you're thinking. Why, why is he not having a parrot around? Well, they probably changed <laughs> it. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, he turns it. He turns oh, into yeah. a giant dragon of sorts, and it starts. He made a huge dragon lizard thing out of it. And he starts attacking both Aladdin and his last friend. Well, his uh, I should say, two of his friends get caught up in the t- tornadoes, but his last friend gets torn apart by the dragon. Did he get burned up? Yeah, burns. Yeah, the yeah he became a crispy critter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, Aladdin 
um, eventually tries to fool the vizier, trying to make out he, he's given up, but Aladdin continues the fight and all that stuff and tries to save the prince, save the sultana. Eventually, his old friend returns and Aladdin was able to defeat the vizier by chopping the breaking the lamp so that he no longer has yes, any power. Uh, yeah, no, no one... The, the genie was linked to the lamp, so yeah. once there's no more lamp, the genie doesn't have to do anything for anybody. Yeah, this, Aha, this yeah, causes yeah. the castle and everything around them just disappear, and then um, Aladdin faces the vizier off in a in a one hand on to one. hand whatever, yeah. and eventually the vizier was going to get um, Aladdin killed, but then a huge wind blows him off the cliff. Uh, it wasn't actually a huge win we found out later on. No. Nope. He had a helping hand from the genie. his magical friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah the genie yeah. Had, and Aladdin become friends. Anyway, Aladdin passes out for a couple of days and he wakes in the palace and she tells him that you're home, you're safe. And Aladdin feels like, I'm sorry, we, I, I've upset you and I'm sorry I deceived you and therefore I might as well leave. And, and But the Sultan explains that she doesn't care that she still loves him and she, she he, he's welcome to stay with her as he, her consult i mean co- what you consort consort and aladdin and her embrace and the genie says i'm going to start planning my the wedding all that stuff like a wedding now planner. he's a wedding planner isn't that lovely well he says he, he could do anything he wants now he's like the genie from robin williams now yeah. he could do he still has his magic powers i to do something do that? No, go away. Like, hey, yeah. Yeah, 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 he could still do magic, and therefore he continues to. He do- can choose who he does magic for. Yes. Ah. And he still sees Aladdin as his best friend, so he's willing to help out yeah, the wedding. Make him a nice wedding. Yeah. Then the story fades out. The end. Good night. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, um, I do think this one's not too bad, in my opinion. I just think, I just thought the um, actors were pretty interesting. No, the point is, this. Okay, Asylum is a smaller studio by the sound of it, okay? Yes, it sounds Have like Have got a very limited budget. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what they've done with their money is tried to make the best production they could. Yes. There you go. No, so no matter what the, re, the, uh, the critics say and the informal critiques done by uh, the paying public, mm. um, I'll go through a couple of those in, yeah. a, minute, in, a, in a different way. Um Mm. It was unfair. Mm. Because you cannot... It's sort of like saying if you've got a high... A NASCAR, for argument's sake. High-powered car. Mm. And you're trying to compare that to a pair of roller skates. Uh-huh. There's no... The different category, okay? Mm. Now, the same as this. This here, low-budget movie, done with what they had. And they what they had was good directed... Good directors, a uh, good excuse me, a good director, uh, good actors. I wouldn't say top of the pile, but good enough actors to service the roles they're given. Mm. Okay, Aladdin looked really, really good. So mm. you got a bit of eye candy there mm-hmm. for the uh, the girls and the princess, Sultana, whatever. She looked pretty hot too. So had some eye candy for the guys. The story was the same sort of stuff up Aladdin, but obviously new. Yeah, a adding, new twist on it. Yeah, trying to make out that yeah. Aladdin had more than one yeah. friend. Uh, yeah. the, the genie bit was quite different. Out, uh, not straight out of the box like all the other ones. So, yeah, everything worked good, but it just wasn't an A-movie type, you know, the top of the pile type A-movie, mm. even though it's probably and, pretty close yeah. to an A-movie. And I wouldn't call yeah. it a B-movie. No, I mean, it's been the B-movie, but it's not a top of the pile A-movie which had a huge budget. So, yeah. Mm. Trope. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm not going to go for the critiques per se, but the main critics who reviewed it weren't even the main ones in your main magazines. Mm. Not in your varieties, not in New York Times. They haven't even done a critique. It's yeah. just been the independent guys like what we do. Mm. And that's a matter of taste. Mm. So that, to me, as far as I'm concerned, their critiques don't hold too much bloody water. If you don't like something, you're going to bag it. Mm. Now, the individual ones, a lot of them said, oh, it's a load of crap. 
You know why they said it was a load of crap? Why? Because when they went to buy the bloody thing, they bought the wrong movie. They thought it was a Will Smith movie. <laughs> and they said, oh, I didn't like it. I wanted a Will Smith movie. I bought the wrong DVD. This one's crap. <laughs> So, and that was their critique, I think wasn't I, it? Hello, you're stupid enough to buy the wrong DVD. Don't blow this one out of the water because you bought the wrong DVD. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. Uh, so like, that's where Bart's most I remember seeing me. a comment like that on YouTube. And, I've seen and it. And this yeah. woman, um, I yeah. think it was her mum that bought her a copy of this movie. Yeah. And she thought it was going to be the Disney version. Yeah. But then when she seen it, I guess um, she was um, a little disappointed. Yes, but it's... But the point is, Disney has squillions to use to make a good movie. Well, these guys don't have squillions. So, yeah, uh, they've done a good movie. Anyway, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. think there's anything wrong with it. I did think the comedy was different. The pretty good. Yeah, and interesting. the yeah. extra cad- characters um, added a bit of n- new flavour I have not seen in Aladdin yet. Yeah. And I do think that it, uh, if it wasn't... F- um, if there wasn't, it wasn't comparing itself to Disney so much, it would have um, come off some really good. See, Aladdin's been, I wouldn't say Aladdin's been done to death, but it has been made into many movies. And TV series? It's been, um, it's been done in animated film. Mm. It's done, yeah, TV series. That was a, it was a Bollywood one? Yeah, there was a Bollywood one. That, a Bollywood um, TV series, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah and yeah. it came out probably the same year when... Um, the Disney one came out, which yeah. was the inspiration to bring out something yeah. new. So yeah, and everyone likes it because it's fun. It's got magic in it. It's got love. It. It's got adventure. Yeah, and it's all. I mean, I remember my first touch with Aladdin was an old movie, and Sabu was in it. Mm, I remember a little Indian guy who was uh, very popular in um, Hollywood. He did. Uh, he was in uh, the Jungle Book, I think. The original mm-hmm. Jungle Book. Uh, and he was in, the, uh, I don't know, I think it was called The Thief of Baghdad yeah, or something. Yeah, The Thief of Baghdad. Yeah. And that sort of stuff. And he had genies and stuff. And these were great, you know. And, yeah, I mean, it's a good story. Mm. People like the magic. They like the genies. They like the interpretation of the story. Yeah, um, why not? Even Bugs Bunny did it. Yeah, true. Yeah, you, you cave at treasures and Daffy Duck and... Yeah, 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 I yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, poor old Daffy Duck, he got stripped, he just shrunk down to nothing. Yeah. Anyway, um, but the point is that it's a good story and people have got their own interpretations and this is one of the interpretations. Yeah. yeah. This is not the first time I've seen a um, Aladdin version that gets mistaken for another Aladdin version. Well, they're not about the same time. I mean, like, crikey. when it comes out at the same time, it confuses the um, individuals, what, what they're watching. Remember when we didn't do Towering Inferno, did we? Um, no, did we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we yeah. did. When Towering Inferno was being in po- a pre-production, they were going, they were, this studio was going to make a movie, whatever it was going to be called, the Towering Inferno or whatever, but another studio was going to make a similar sort of movie, so they collaborated hmm. and made one good movie yeah. instead of having two movies come out the same theme at the same time. Yeah. And I don't know, yeah, that's where the problem is. Sometimes uh, mm. one squashes the other. Yeah, yeah another example, mm. guys, is when um, during the 70s, um, there was a lot of um, Dracula movies coming yeah, out yeah, at that yeah. time, Hammer being the top Hammer of the bunch, yeah, yeah. while a lot of other small independent filmmaker crowds were trying to do their own adaptation of Dracula. Yeah, that was, that, that was the American one. We, 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 did we review that one or did we just no, saw No, we it? haven't seen no, it. We saw, no, we saw one. In, we saw one. Well. Uh, mm. one, an American one which went under the radar because mm. an, a Hammer one or something else came out Hammer. and dumped it. Yeah, Hammer and, came and out squashed it. and squashed it. Yeah, d- 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 didn't hardly saw the light of day. Um, it wasn't the top movie, but it was a good movie. Mm-hmm. But again, yeah, no one knew it existed. So yeah. Same, uh, same with a lot of the other d- mm. um, Dracula movies. Like there was one in, I think it was done in um, either um, Italian or, or Spanish. I'm not sure. Oh, which, yeah, there was one. That yeah. was called Dracula's Greatest Love. Great yeah, I love. Think, I think yeah, Italian. It was Italian or Spanish. I think it was Spanish. Yeah, yeah. and let me see. I think a number of other ones ca- that came out before the 80s um, were kind of either. If it got noticed or just um, disappeared under the radar, I yeah. don't know. And depending on the popularity and the amount of audience members who watched it. Yeah. 
and the timing is a big thing in the industry. As I often say, mm. as, as Mike said before, timing is everything. If you, if, you, if, you, if you release a kiddie movie, well, in, at least in Australia, around Christmas time, you know if you release it somewhere about the middle of December mm. and it has a good run for the next two months through school holidays, the kiddies are going to go to the theatre. Uh-huh. The mummies and daddies will take them there yeah. to, to keep them entertained. Yeah. They get them out of the house for a bit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, uh, other countries might do it like uh, mm. uh, America has summer holidays, mm. so they might do it in the middle of the year. Yeah. They tie it for the summer break, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Another example, guys, yeah. is Volcano yeah. and Dante's um, Peak. Dante's Peak, yeah, similar They movies. both were, came out at the same time, and they were both volcano-related movies. Yeah, yeah exactly right, yeah. yeah. Well, I think they're both good movies, and don't get me wrong. Yeah. Each was waiting for the which one was going to get the most viewers or the most interested public. I like wanted. both of them. I, mean, I like Tommy Lee Jones mm-hmm. and I like uh, Bug Lugs. Uh, um, Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan, yeah. And they're both good actors and both storylines are totally different. Mm-hmm. And I can get enjoyment out of both movies. Yeah. yeah. And as I said before at the beginning of this podcast, I told you guys about the Pinocchio movies that came out this year and that both of them were seeing who will get the most audience members or the most interest when you think about it. And? Well, I think they said the, um, well, it's a toss-up, but I think it's not the Disney one that's getting the most oh, audience goody. members. Oh, sorry, sorry, Disney. Because yeah. Disney is one has gone directly to Disney+. Plus. Uh, okay, well, I'm so not sure what's happening with the other, well, the other one. one might, it yeah. may have gone to mainstream. Well, it might, might be might, it's, it's, yeah, screening in theatres or, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't deny a famous director getting his um, name out there. Yeah. Who was it? Uh, I told you. I mean, he's the guy from who did the um, oh, Shapes think, in yeah, the Water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That well, movie. I, can't remember his I can't remember his name. That's all. Mm. Yeah. 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 Anyway, you should have written it down. I'm sorry. I didn't think it was ah, uh, important yeah. in this, this, <laughs> movie, uh, this review. We like to get the names right. It's easy, you know, because obviously we like to give uh, accolades to the right people. Yeah. 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 Anyway, I, I do think if this movie was, if there was good timing... Uh, maybe it would have gotten the praise it, the audience if needed the rules, for it. If the, if the Disney one didn't come out, this one probably would have fared better. Mm-hmm. Mm. But like I said, a lot of the negative critiques done by people, especially if you go on something like Amazon look at the reviews there, half the business, oh, it was a crappy movie, I ordered the wrong DVD. <laughs> now... Mm. You ordered the wrong DVD, and you watched the, You got a movie that you didn't want to yeah. see. Yeah, I can see you not wanting it. Yeah, but trick, you don't bag it because yeah. you didn't want it. Trick you to, ordered it. Trick yeah. to bo- ordering, guys. Always look up the name of the ca- yeah, actor. Yeah, open up the thing you're ordering and check the date, the actors, the director, maybe if it's there, and and don't buy it unless it meets the right criteria. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if you just went ahead and just buy the thing. Oh, it looks right. The right year. Right year. I, I saw something the other day. Um, was it The Invited? Um, I saw, I saw yeah, The Invited. I was looking for it. And I, and I was looking at something on, on, on one of my sites here and had another movie, same year, called The Invited, and it's a porn movie. Now, if I was going to buy it online and have a look at it, I would make sure I look at it and I was making sure I was going to buy the right DVD. Yeah, <laughs> I've often encountered when I was looking up movies, I often, whenever yeah. um, there is two, there's one movie that has two names, I have, um, yeah. I, well, when I, I check it out, the try to find the one I'm looking for, I end up coming across a different different movies. Yeah, sometimes you do, yeah. And most of the time and they... And sometimes the same year or, or a year out or something. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Very, so you're very careful. That's why I say, when you go on Amazon and eBay, uh, uh, yeah, they, they say, hey, there's similar movies, be careful, just go and check the actors and stuff before you click on the thingy. Yeah. yeah um, and yeah, usually yeah. sometimes it's good to check the storyline, but yeah. not... But, but that's... Yeah, but if you look at the actors and stuff, that's too which one it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the point is, they don't just click, oh, it looks right. No. 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 It doesn't always work. A piece of wood is not a piece of wood. You got pine, you got maple, you got cedar, yeah, blah 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 blah. Yeah, so a tape it's not a tape, a DVD is not a DVD. Look at it before you buy it. So yeah. do you yeah. want to rate this now before yep. I um now I try to balance my judgments for the ratings that we give right. based on the type of movie and how it was done. Right. Now this is a low budget movie done by 
uh, production company who does low budget movies to the best of their ability. Okay. Now, I like I like the camera work. The acting wasn't bad. The story wasn't bad. It met all the criteria. The only thing it was lacking was a little bit of special effects, which they probably couldn't afford to put in there. Hmm. Uh, maybe they could have sharpened up some of the costumery and that sort of stuff. But apart from that, I'm going to have problems. I'm going to give it nine and a half. I'm going to give it um, nine and a half to two. Yeah, I think they've done a damn good job. If I don't know how much they spent, but I know they do low budget. And if I was doing a low budget movie and it came out this good, I would be pleased. Hmm. How's that? Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Now, where can we get it? Ah, ah you may ah. ask. Right. eBay, there's plenty of a sale. Yeah, mm. not a problem. Amazon, you can rent it and you can buy it. You can also go on YouTube and watch it if it's available to you. Is it there, is it? Yeah, it's not, that's where I, I watched okay. it first time to see for myself. Is if it a good it, clean copy or is it grungy? Uh, it was a clean copy, oh, I okay, think, good. but yeah. I'm not a judge on YouTube videos. Yeah, and sometimes they compress them a little bit too much mm. sometimes. And yeah, they, I mean, it, it, yeah. when you get a 300 something, yeah, whatever, yeah, that's not too bad, but sometimes they're a bit squatty down and mm-hmm. they're a bit furry and pixelated in a big screen. So, But be careful, have a look on YouTube. Mm. But if you like it, buy it. Give the, give the guys a couple of dollars in their pocket for a job well done. Yeah, okay. they may get improved over the years. Yeah, I mean, I mean you, you can't make movies for free. Yeah, they say it. But yeah, if you can get it um, as a, a a legal download for YouTube, mm. yeah, yeah, just get it, yeah. Mm. Anyway, uh, I can't think of anything else to say about this. I can't talk about production mm. and stuff. I've got no details. Yeah, um, I can't yeah. find any data. And you know what the old yeah. expression I always say? Data, data, data. I cannot make bricks without clay. That's or Sherlock. Straw, or straw. Yeah, so I'm, it's like Sherlock Holmes said in the story. So yeah, um, yeah. So g- good movie. Look, if you like that sort of the sh- the, uh, the Aladdin type movies, yeah, it's it fits in there quite nicely. Yeah, it's um, it's it's a uh, fantasy adventure like all the other ones are, mm-hmm. and I think it's it holds its own quite nicely. I agree. There you go. Yes. I'm not going to say anything more because I just go keep going over the same stuff. So. Yes. So, guys, mm. um, be sure to check it out. Let us know in the comments what you think of this Aladdin. Or if you prefer the Disney one, let us know which one you think is the most interesting of uh, of the two that you think is the best. Well, the Aladdin's better looking. Mm. Sarah, Sarah said that, not me. Well, <laughs> he's very crush-worthy. And, he's very nice-looking guy. And fit, fit, hey? Yeah. He's got... He, he got a good bod, and yeah. he got a good-looking face. The girls and he like has him. Great yeah. muscles. Yeah, muscles. <laughs> yeah, he looks good. Mm, yes. And hey, and the Sultan looks pretty damn good too. Yeah, for those who are, are yeah. looking for eye candy. Yeah, they're both looking good. Two good-looking people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's about it. But for there's us no to... monkey. There's no monkey. I'm I'm, I'm annoyed. It's no pleasing some people. Abu, <laughs> where's Abu? I didn't see him anywhere. Um, his friends come close. <laughs> oh, well, but, uh, well, he had a few monkeys working with him. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, that's about it for us, guys. So be sure to check it out and let us know in the comments what you think of this, of the that those two Aladdin movies. Yes. All right. Ta-da. That's about it for us. This is Sarah Stevenson. And Michael. Saying see you guys around. Bye for now. Bye, guys.